All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let's, uh, oh god, it's raining. Let's, uh, see what, uh, this mission's all about. A bad penny. Well, that's probably got something to do with Jacob, no? There we go. Oh, dear God. It's right here, never mind. Can I... There we go. the rooftops we go. Is this Mr. Abalon? I think so. Hello, sir. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupany well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupany is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Tupany won't be leaving that vault. 
Okay, so bank manager is a stealth opportunity. Head of security is a new kill opportunity, and the vault watcher is an assistance opportunity. Find the secret passage. Good thing nobody is on the bank's roofs. So there's an entry point right here. Sir, I shall update our ledgers accordingly. Do you require assistance in any other? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just botched that, but it's okay. <sighs> for two pennies, two. Okay, that definitely didn't work. Wasted both of those, and if I had any knives, I would have used those. Where is he? Oh, he just walked out. Shit. So, you just gotta wait for him to come back through. I don't know how I'm gonna get the upgrade for the darts, though. What would I need to do? Alright, I think he's gonna come back this way. coming I thank you for your time good sir enjoy the day I will let the governor know how helpful you have been when next we die there we go lovely please sir, don't harm me I'll assist you what would you have me do? I'd rather fancy a private tour of the vault. I'm going to gut you like a fish. <laughs> Is this really gonna work? Oh my god, that worked. 
No, come on. <laughs> This way, sir. The records are still. Ah, son of a bitch! Check something right quick. Nope, that's all fine. So there are just Templars through here now. I know. That's on the outside on the on this level. Once we go deeper. Oh, yep, no, they're still in there. Damn your clumsiness. Faster. stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Okay, so I royally fucked that up, but it's okay. very much struggle to not take something for myself. You know, just a little bit of gold. Take him down! 
out of here we go. of England is closed until further notice. Okay. The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, twopenny brutally murdered and yet Parliament does nothing the bill will be defeated sir that buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of it has been arranged upon my honor your honor carries little weight how dare you sir the poor people of this city have suffered enough today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation what I would supply all of London if I could meanwhile you Sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. Fair in politics. Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Sterek's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. A letter for me. They just can't stay off each other's throats. Oh, that's for Henry Green. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that's for Evie, I'd assume. Evie, it's a Charles Darwin memory. Karl Marx. And we're currently right there. We'll, we'll, we'll see what Green wants. First, let's take a look at the Master Assassin outfit. Hmm. I like the one we're using right now, actually. Okay. Um. Okay, he's right there. Let's go back and buy some supplies first. Oh, the train stopped. 
Hello, sir. We fill it all. Thank you. Uh, no. Let's have a chat, shall we? I hope you've sharpened that blade. Miss Fry, I brought some books. I hope I'm not intruding by being here. Quite the contrary. It's nice to have the company. A herbarium? Are you collecting flowers for someone? Only myself. I'm told it's something of a British pastime. Did you know, they all have symbolic meanings. I had heard something of the sort. Of course you have. Unfortunately, I have no time to fill the book. I could collect some samples, if you would accept my help. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Fry. Been doing a little banking, have Man, you, you know, the uh stop with the taunting there, Evie. The the flirting just won't stop. <laughs> Alright, so we got Carriage shortage, blighters, uh, repairman. Oh, okay. Less resilient. Unlock voltaic bomb upgrade. Visit. Okay. So, what craze? Lucinogenic darts cost, what, 50% less? What are works? What's under it? World Training 3. Police bribes work. I'm surprised we actually haven't gotten that yet. Poison the well. Dull blades. Bad power. Oh yeah, let's invest in this a little bit. Just a little bit more. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. Now, where are we? We're here. Right. I want to head into the strand. Did I, I got this, yes. And we're going to help out Charles Dickens for a little bit. So there's one down here. Let's, uh, what is this? Bounty hunt? We'll do that later. Oh dear God, oh no, oh no! <laughs> okay, I just didn't get that. I see how it goes. Oh, never mind. Is he in the train station? Yeah. 
No, okay. Oh, shit. Of course, the sign has to go in the way. intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies? In London? I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> they look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some supernatural power. I'm not so foolish as to forget that criminals will spin any yarn to avoid the law. However, these thieves all proffer the same defense. They say they were being controlled by a demon. Will you make some inquiries? One of our demon-possessed mobsmen is being held behind bars at this very moment. You sure. may want to begin your search there. Okay. Are you sure they don't all know each other? Because that would be a reason for their common explanation. If they do, well then there you go. If they don't, then well fuck. So you just won't? I don't I don't know what that analogy means. Oh wait, no, he said like a duck to water. Okay. Oh. Gentlemen. What's this one in for? <clears throat> Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. All right. Who do you think made you do this? All I can recall is a silver watch <coughs> swinging in midair. It was held by someone or something. A dark presence whispering. I could only see its eyes. A demon. Huh? Maybe the so shopkeeper hypnotism. will make more sense. Sounds heavily like hypnotism. Huh? Or at least, you know... What, what the 1800s would think is hypnotism. <laughs> All right, um, seems pretty far, so I'll just take a carriage. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No no no! Mi dispiace! Okay. <laughs> so the pawnbroker is what, around the corner? Hey, buddy. Let's have a chat. May I ask you about the robbery? There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same seller. Enzio Capelli, Sorcerer Supreme, a 
famous showman from Italy. Several weeks ago, he was forced to pawn his family heirlooms, debts. I have the address of the last person who redeemed something of his, a lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Sure. Not again. Stop her. Stop. Somebody stop that thief. What's all Where that argy-bargy about, then? What's you were just indulging in a little light theft. More trouble from the rabble. It's all very oh, hazy, but I remember something silver flashing in front of my eyes. Then I heard a sort of bell. Next thing I know, I'm here with you. Over there. Yeah, I heard the bell, too. What's that over there? Back on track. Now to find this buyer. Place is becoming a mess. Get there we go. Let's go. Seems to be quite the investigation we're going on. To not be a police officer. That's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Why is she so hasty this time? Oh, it's a tail. Okay. Show me what you want. <laughs> all right all right it's cool Going there, buddy. Where you off to? He just turned around after a gunshot that I had nothing to do with.
to give me the necklace now, don't you? Yes, I want to give you the necklace now. Hello, sir. Can we have a chat? Not a ghost, not a demon, but the great Enzio Capelli. You are very much mistaken. Aren't you, my child? Yes, uh, I am very much mistaken. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. You are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, very tired, aren't you? Yes, I'm very, very tired. Now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? Can I kill him? Can I kill him now? My goodness. What oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? Where the devil am I? You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. I don't remember a damn thing. Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings, and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. <laughs> Be free, little chicken. Oh, shut up. Okay. There's an... Please, is that... No, I don't think it's got anything to do with, uh... Capelli again. Because I, I want to stop and kill him. Don't just humiliate somebody like that. Let's go see if this is a continuation, because, <laughs> oh god, I, I want to deal with him so bad. Is this the same? I think this is the same part. Complete. No, that's not the same card I used the first time. Oh, yes! Okay, good. Have you truly no recollection of the events that landed you in a cell? I remember what the other victims remember a silver watch, the sound of a bell, and a sort of shadow. A glint of silver and a tolling bell. I must say, you look very tired. The fuck? Yeah. 
Now you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? Now I I'm going to do a little job of work for you. You've cost me a bit of money, mate. So I think it's only fair that you replenish my coffers with donations from the good people of London. You will steal money for me, won't you? Yes, I will steal money for you. Wait, what the f Oh, okay, he's recalling what happened. It's funny how combat is slower in this state, but just as easy. Five bucks. I was over the gate and I was not. five I'm not really rich just carrying around five pounds Oi, get away from me you dodger speak to the hypnotist well at least glad to see I was right Surprised I was only arrested for theft and not multiple counts of murder. Good, very good. Now we can't have criminals like you roaming the streets. You will surrender to the police, won't you? Yes, I will surrender to the police. Oh, and when you do, you're going to do a silly little dance for them. Ezio. Oh my god. Ezio okay. Capelli. Not a demon, but a hypnotist. 
Still find him. They just had to put an Ezio reference in there, didn't they? See any? Uh, okay, the map is lying to me. Aren't you my child? Yes, I am very much mistaken. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. All right, let's see if I can, uh... What was that noise? Go take a look. Can't climb over this? Okay. Mr. Kelly says I won't. I shall look over here. Who saw me? Never mind. Okay, uh, where are the rest of the stairs?
you go. You're going to do a little dance with them when you get in here, right? Time to confess and free the people under your silly spell. only kidnap him again oh my god oh I can't kill him That didn't help at all. Okay. So ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're gonna tackle some more missions for a sequence, was this, eight? Eight, I think? Or no, seven. Ah, fuck. We'll see. Uh, but we're gonna tackle some of that, so I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.